Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, I'm sorry I did not go live. You know what it is? It's because I've been prepping and doing all that stuff for Black Friday. So it's like, I'm, I've been like really, really busy trying to do a lot more than I normally do. And it's just, it's draining. It's like, if, you know, it's a lot of work. Holy Spirit, what's going on for my kids? With your energies right now all right guys pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone so you be very prideful right you love yourself right and you see yourself in everyone so you love others and then service i feel good when i can help others so you like to be of service to other people you love yourself, you love others, you see yourself in other people. So that's a good thing, right? That's always a good thing. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Guys, sometimes these particular messages may not resonate with this, but this is still directly for you. All right, what's going on, Spirit, for the collective? What do we have? This is the tarot of opposition, guys. Oh, that hasn't even turned over. So somebody, somebody got the answers they seek, right? Somebody got the answers they 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 seek, and it's like they're offering this. It's a new love offer. They're offering this new love offer, or they're thinking about offering this new love offer to someone. But it's the page of pentacles in reverse. So we have a page here. Someone's not happy about it. Someone's not happy about this new love offer. It could be a younger person. It could be a child. But they're not happy that someone is going to make a love offer to someone else. Yeah, you got the Wheel of Fortune. So, Spirit is telling you to go forward. Spirit is telling you to go forward or telling this person to go forward, right? But the only thing is, whoever this person is, the one that wants to offer their love, they don't want to waste their time. They don't want to waste their time. So, and I think they're scared. This person here could be getting in their ear, telling them, you know, you're crazy if you take that leap of faith. Someone, because someone doesn't want them. So this methodical person is probably trying to tell them, you're, you know, you're crazy if you take this leap of faith. So this person, if they listen to this person here that tells them they're crazy, they may not offer you this cup of love. Or you may not accept this cup of love. Whoever's getting this offer, you're not going to accept it. And you don't have any regrets. Because you're not you're not very hopeful with this person. Like right? something happened here. You don't believe in this person, right? Holy Spirit, so whoever's being offered this cup of love, you're not going to accept it. Holy Spirit, why is this person going to accept it, right? Four swords, because this person hurt them before. You've been hurt by this person before, so somebody's been hurt by this person before, and you don't want to go through that again. It was just too many burdens. So you don't want to relive this again. You could have found out about a child's mom and for some regrets. So you don't... Mm -mm. You're not trying to relive this again, you know? You don't want to relive this again with this person. Yeah. You're not going towards them or you're not accepting of their advances. 
Yeah, you're you're the queen of swords in reverse. You're standing in your power. You're standing up against this person, right? And it's a four of in reverse. You don't believe that there's any stability with this person here, like at all. You could still be waiting for an apology. Look, it says I'm still waiting for an apology. So you could still be waiting for an apology. And they said, I fear that you will reject me. So you could be waiting for an apology and their their fear is rejection. But uh, right now you're declining this offer. You are because you're, you're waiting for an apology. Yep. You're waiting on an apology. Holy Spirit, let's put some karmic tendencies on here. Like, what are the karmic tendencies between the two of you, if any, right? Holy Spirit. The, this person, you, the two of you together, you have a very addicting energy with each other. You become very all-consuming of one another. Like, you're really into one another when you do come together. And this is the ending. The connection is so strong, you feel like you're meant to be. So even when you do break up or whatever, you probably come back together again. It's like a cycle. It's like a cycle with the two of you. So you do have a little bit of karmic tendencies with this person. Just a little bit. <laughs> the both of you do. But you're waiting for an apology and they fear that you will reject them because of what they did. But they do have a younger person here that's in their ear telling them, someone's in their ear telling them they don't want them to come back to you. But... Initially, you're going to decline the offer. What you do after that, I'm not sure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.